He once sold his portrait of Bob Dylan for a whopping $1. 2 million. And Pierce Brosnan revealed he will be exhibiting his artwork on May 13, 2023, in Santa Monica. The James Bond star, 69, made the announcement as he appeared on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon on Tuesday. He looked as dashing as ever in a steel grey suit, over a wide shirt and complete with a navy blue pocket square. He explained, I've postponed this so many because of work and so, finally, I've said, whatever movie I'm doing, I'm going to do the show. Host Jimmy asked the actor if he was nervous, to which he replied, well, not now, but I will be then. Pierce said had been painting since 1987 and confessed that he was self-taught. Talking about the inspiration for his painting earplugs, he explained, it's really nice. I'm a big Lichtenstein fan, Roy Lichtenstein, a great artist. I'm a big fan of his work. And I painted it when I was doing GoldenEye down at Leavesden Studios. They give you these little packets, of earplugs, every time Terry's explosions. And so, I thought he'd just paint it. So, over six months I painted that. For a second piece named Picasso, Pierce said, Picasso, influences me. I'm very appreciative of his work, that's a great inspiration. It all begins and starts and ends with Pablo. Speaking about what got him into art, he revealed, Well, I left school at 16, 17, with nothing but a cardboard folder of drawings and paintings. I got a job in a little studio in Putney, South London, and I thought him off to be an artist. And then I discovered acting, or acting discovered me. And thank God for that. Elsewhere in the chat, Pierce discussed his latest role in DC superhero Black Adam as Dr. Fate. He admitted, it was the last thing on my mind to be playing a superhero like Dr. Fate. He then revealed he had auditioned for Tim Burton's Batman, a role that eventually went to Michael Keaton. He confessed, I remember saying something stupid to Tim Burton, I said, you know, I can't understand any man who would wear his underpants outside his trousers. Pierce graciously added, the best man got the job, and you know, Dr. Fate and I were meant to meet on the same page, I think. Jimmy asked Pierce about his iconic costume for the DC film, with Pierce replying, Everyone wants to know what it was like putting on the costume. What was it like putting on the helmet? You can't see a thing. It's darkness. Describing his co-star Dwayne Johnson, who plays the titular character, Pierce gushed, has a magnificent fellow as kind of monolithic and beautiful and owns this role. Pierce first showed his artwork with his fans last year on Instagram, writing, I do ponder at times whether to show the work slowly practiced since one dark night in 1987 when I first began to paint. However as my darling wife Keely says, you're only going to paint so many in your lifetime. So come years and I shall have my first art show in LA. If not now when? Time to let them go. Pierce spoke about his passion for art in an interview last year and shared his plans to have an exhibition in Santa Monica, California. He revealed that his wife, Keely, 56, had a documentary aired at the Cannes Film Festival, and when organizers discovered Pierce was a painter, they asked him to auction an artwork for Amphar, a charity supporting AIDS research. In an interview with Parade magazine, Pierce said, It done a painting of Bob Dylan, 
who is a great hero of mine. It sold for $1.4 million, one pound, one million, and Keely and I just danced into the night. If it could be like that all the time, I definitely would give up the acting game. Pierce took up painting in 1987 when his late wife, Cassandra Harris, was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Their daughter Charlotte died of the same disease in 2013 at the age of 41.